what's going on guys it's like a hero and let me tell you i had a great time playing the new season yesterday and uh just started i got home from work uh probably like around i don't know started like maybe around six or seven at night and um man uh it is a such a great experience and uh, I, as a new player, what I want to do today is kind of talk about my experience. I did finish Act 1 yesterday, and then uh, I started Act 2, right? And I kind of wanted to talk about what I did as a new player to make the new player onboarding experience so much more enjoyable. Because if you remember, or if you've been in the channel before, sorry, you know that a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, a little bit over a week ago, I was playing the last season, the Crucible, and I was blind. I just went in there. I made my character first time, first, you know, just went in there. And uh, I still enjoyed it because I really saw the depth that the game had at the start, the different systems and stuff, and the gem system and all that, and the, the you know, the skill tree, and then also the vendor system where you like you, you give certain stuff and you get certain uh, currency back. But this time I did a little bit differently. I went in with a build video. I was sorry. I watched the build video. I went to Max Roll, and I kind of have like an idea that I'm following for the build. So I kind of wanted to show some of that. But if I had to give my first, you know, few hours into the game, if I had to rate it, I have to rate it pretty highly. So I would have to say that uh, doing this route where I have some some websites open, right? Man, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I mean, is it too much if I say that it was a, like a, a 9 out of 10? An 8.5 out of 10, I would say. Uh, and it just was really enjoyable. And uh, what made it more enjoyable as well is that I was playing along with my brother and my cousin. And we were all following our own little guides, right, for our builds. And uh, man, it was, it was a lot of fun. I Right off the bat, I feel, I feel like I want to say like the clan system and the shared stash, man, it was great. It was it, that that was great because it's almost like the game wants you to play with your friends as opposed to another game that just like doesn't really want you to play with your friends, I would say. But um, I am obviously doing the trade version of the season. Uh, it's my first time, so I'm not doing Ruthless. I'm not doing Solo Cell Found. And uh, but I just having a lot of fun. So the first thing I do want to talk about what I used, and I you know I went to maxroll.gg, and I used a. Let me pause this here. I went to maxroll.gg, and I used. Uh, well, I was going to use the ice shot, uh, but then I saw, so this guy right here, and uh, shout out to him. Super helpful. Very good videos. And so I, uh, I was looking at that, and he, he, was doing, he was talking about lightning. Then I went to his live stream, he was talking about lightning, uh, his lightning build. And then he linked the, he linked the uh, lightning Deadeye, which is the one I'm using right now. And uh, it, was, it, was, uh, it was great. Uh, so it wasn't the, that one that I just clicked on. It was the League Starter. So he had linked it. And I said, that looks pretty cool. I was watching the play style. I said, that's kind of what I want to do. Uh, during in Diablo 4, uh, when that game launched, I was all about melee, rogue. And so I was like, you know, I really want to do like a range style build. So I did uh, end up going with the lightning arrow here and um, really enjoying it. Uh, really fun. And so having this following a guide was great because um, I could focus more on like other things and not wasting time about what I'm going to put my points in, uh, what I'm going to do like for this, skill points. I think that's one of the things as a new player that was intimidating the last go around. It's like, man, do I commit this point? Because I know like it's a pretty big commit and now I know about refund points and all this stuff, but still like it's still a pretty big commit. Like you really have to commit uh, to uh, a route that you go, right? And it's really difficult to like undo those. So, uh, and let me know in the comments, maybe you have some advice for that. But so knowing that I was following this route and this build really allowed me to like just focus on playing the game. And I think as a new player, 
from a new player perspective, that's one of the things when you see all this stuff pop up on your screen and you're looking at all this, you you have this like sense of like, I don't know, you call it FOMO or whatever. You have a sense of like, man, I commit this point and then like, what if it's wrong? So I think having that uh, a guide up, just I'm just following my, where to put my points in, you know, the gems that I'm going to use uh, was really helpful for that. And man, I can't get over how 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 good the game is playing. Like if you were to show me this game, and you would tell me it's, you know, over a decade old. I it doesn't feel like the game is over a decade old. So I get I haven't played like ever. So like this is my perspective. Uh, just it seems to perform as well. And I know like, you know, this isn't like a review of like performance and, you know, official critique of the game because who am I to critique the game, right? Uh, but I do think it runs really well and uh, it has a lot of good, good things about it with the how, f how freely they allow you to use additional, I don't want to call them mods, but like tools in the game to play the game. So I'm going to see if I can get here. Um, Okay, so the skill tree here, uh, I did recently, uh, and this is from my recording from last night, I did see that I have like refund points now and stuff. I haven't been using that. I'm following this uh, lightning build, so um, th that's great. The other thing, and I'm see if I could get it here. Okay, here it is, here it is. The other thing that as a new player that I uh, didn't know, but now I know is uh, enabling some basic quality of life filters within the UI, uh, such as uh, ed, like tool tips, uh, the advanced, and I'll see if I could find it here because I, yeah, okay, here we go. So um, going to the items, I like showing, always showing the sockets on there so I can quickly see them. And um, that's super helpful for me. Showing full descriptions. Also, again, like I kind of, I would have kind of liked them to be on more like by default, but I guess it could overwhelm new players, but having it on was super helpful, uh, showing full descriptions and, uh, then going down and showing things like my mana here on the bottom, right? Yeah. You can see it here on the bottom, right? It, I have the, the text that shows me how much mana I have. Same thing with the health on the other side, showing the flash buff, showing all these things. I turned these on and there were like little things that really helped me out. As I'm going, showing the health, I, that's huge. Like being able to see my health and mana on my character and my allies uh, and the enemies, like those are a must. So if you're new and you're getting to mess around with this UI option, uh, I almost turned all of them on in the gameplay section there. But that was really helpful uh, for me to just things that I'm learning as I'm playing the game. Um, also, if you have any suggestions about other things that I should be doing, let me know. I, I am going to talk about some of the uh, the loop filter and all that that I'm also using as well uh, in a little bit. Um, so uh, moving on, let me see if I can get here to where we were. I don't want to make this video super long, uh, so I'm just going to kind of skip through all this. Uh, I will say, though, and you can see here in my recording, there's a lot of like, like stopping. And this is me like looking at like my website, me Googling stuff. And I don't mind that. I, I could see how a, a brand new person, maybe someone who doesn't like doing that, uh, will find that annoying, but it's definitely worth the investment to learn something that you aren't sure of. Like Google it, watch a video on it. Um, I definitely am not like super knowledgeable or knowledgeable at all. You know, I have a, a basic understanding, but I have the desire to learn. So I think googling stuff asking questions going through like different reddits going through well i don't go to reddit actually so that's cat but going to like you know different the poe website the wiki uh all those are really helpful so when i was doing all this i the the first thing that i wanted to do is i wanted to understand how the filters work so filterblade.xyz is what i use and then this links with path of exile so it links with your account so i thought this was like a great thing i'm surprised like how openly they share this the the game usually gaming companies like are totally against like having all these other third party systems like with their game but i think because they are 
I don't want to like, I don't want to use the smaller company, indie company developer. I feel like everything gets called that, but because they are not, you know, Overlord's Blizzard here, they are letting you do this. And so I, I look in here, I didn't change anything yet. I just was reading about that and, and they do a good job here. They in there, it says good filter for beginners and new leagues. So I'm with the semi strict. I am not um, going to mess with this yet. Uh, I, I don't really want to go too much, but it's something that I did. I think I was like level 12 or something like that. And I was like, you know, let's look into that some time. I researched it a little bit, got here, uh, asked a friend who is like, you know, been playing, you know, I think he has like over 900 hours in it. And he was like, yeah, here, check this out. And so I just kind of loaded up, I linked my account and then I just left it as the default, right? I'm not going to like change that. I don't want to miss out on stuff. I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm not going to mess with all that. So I linked the account. It's on here and the loot filter is nice. It does like so many, like immediately, you know, that the items are larger and here it's kind of shows you like the overview. It like highlights things. Uh, depending on if they're common currencies here on the bottom or if they're you can see the orb, orb of alterations chromatic orbs like it, it's really nice for you can so you can like quickly see what you you want and definitely a must have again that's filterblade.xyz i wouldn't do this when you just first get into the game but you know your own level of comfort varies with like how much you want to do right if you're the type of player like in world of warcraft and you go in and the first thing you're doing is your ui and setting all that up your add-ons and everything like that then this might be something that you do right off the bat uh, but definitely look into it don't you know unless you're really sure i would not recommend like messing with this stuff outside of the default for now until you feel comfortable doing all that so this was a great uh, tool that i used for that again left it there all you have to do once you you do your thing you go to save export it's already linked to your account so i gave it a name and once i gave it that name uh, I did. Uh, I Ooh, hold on. Let me see. Once I gave it that name, that was it. I called it just like a hero basic, whatever. Uh, saved and sync. I didn't download it. Uh, I just literally saved and synced it to my POE account, and that was it. And now it's on. So great a website there. The the next thing I did was uh, check out, and this is what I was using a lot of the time here when I would like when my. Uh, video was uh, my character wasn't moving right i was on the path of exile wiki uh i used the poe wiki.net after looking around i think the common consensus was this was the better one than the default one so i was using this uh, another great tool to have right you see something well what is it you know you just kind of go in here you search it you use that so the path of exile uh poe wiki.net and then uh i started looking into poe.ninja so I haven't used it yet because I'm like, you know, but I do kind of like want to look at it. I've kind of been like kind of just browsing through it, understanding it, reading the abouts and learning in that. So another good that I think eventually I am going to be using a lot. So I kind of want to see the economy of that and see how it all it's all working. Right. Um, and to go inside with that. Uh, that poe.ninja is the path of exile.com, the, you know, their trading thing here. So I have it up. I'm not messing with any of this yet before anyone starts saying I'm not messing with any of this. I just have it. And I'm like familiarizing myself every once in a while, I'll do something, whatever. How is it? You know, just kind of have it ready for when I do, um, have it. And then, you know, part of me wants to like learn all these things before. Uh, so those are the kind of things that I'm using for as i'm you know getting into the game and like i said i'm in act two now and just having a great time playing um i i, I do want to say that like the game itself really lends itself towards playing with people and i i can't get over how easy it was for someone to say hey uh do you need this i have this with two this was like uh and I think later on, I have like this bow with three gems on it connected, or I have this chess piece. I know it, you know, it has avoidance or whatever. And I want to get too much into that for like new players, but to know, tell your buddies what your stats you're looking for. And if they see something, then it drops. 
or you know whatever and they're like oh i'll put it in the guild bank or i'll put it in in our you know in that shared stash and there you go uh you could see how the loot filter here is making these much larger um everything just feels a little bit more satisfying and so i think that you as you're leveling you do feel feel a power boost so uh, when i was when we got to this part like i just felt like i was doing like the build was doing what it was supposed to do where is my, in my first blind playthrough i was struggling a bit because i didn't know what synergizes well so like the support gems and all this stuff that i'm kind of just like reading about so having like a linking ability so like my mirage gem linking to my at this point uh the lightning uh lightning uh uh strike or whatever not lightning strike it's called just the lightning arrow but all then also putting like another support gem so like because i'm triple connected like the game feels good and in that sense like i would say that the work is worth the payoff so like you read and you learn and you, you get something and then you just you feel the effects of your choices i think that's what it is you really feel the effects of your choices and because you have so many choices you uh th that is much more rewarding uh, and it feels much more rewarding as I'm going on there. Like, man, when as soon as I put these gems on, I'm like, man. So at this point here, I'm like looking for a triple connected, right? I'm looking for uh, two greens and a red because I want to do, I want to put another gem called a totem uh, to connect to my lightning uh, arrow. Uh, and that's just for a different type. So it's a situation. And again, I don't want to confuse new players if you're looking at this, but basically I want three gems. I want two greens and a, and I want a red one and I want them all connected so that I can make my lightning arrow uh make it a totem that I like you put on the ground it's like a uh you just call it a creature you put it on the ground and then that does damage right uh so to do that I you know tell my my buddies hey if you come across this you can you know let me know and so eventually uh, after playing yeah I did I did get that gem. You can see that here on my arrow now. So now, man, putting that on, going to the gem uh, person, Nessa here, I just feel like my knowledge is increasing pretty rapidly. And it's definitely worth you putting in the time for it. I can't say that enough. So, like, here, here's another mechanic that I, I'm, I'm just kind of, I might may sound like super excited, you know, uh, fanboying over this, but like, I learned that if you vendor three different flasks of the same type, it's going to give you the next tier, right? And that was through Googling. So I Googled that, you know, that mechanic here. And again, I'm not going to get super into that. So here you can see I'm going to exchange these three uh, flasks. And then, boom, I get a bigger one. And it's like, man, you, you're progressing and you, you're progressing in so many different aspects of the game that are outside of just like a skill point and an a, a ability but like you really have to like i guess there's so many avenues to progress right and i'm only leveling i'm only in act two right or whatever i think i'm like 20 something here i don't know maybe maybe around there uh but definitely my experience so far guys is a very positive one and uh i i do hope to uh start streaming this more consistently on kick.com slash like a hero right now i'm kind of sticking to the youtube for my schedule and work and stuff like that it's just easier for me to like you know i get home late i'm a little tired i just grind the game and then i record some content and i and i share with you guys if you have any suggestions though like of things that i should be doing any other websites uh i do i have started messing with pob um the builds the 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 app where i can like copy uh stuff over and look it over i forget what it was called but i have it saved in my favorites so i have a couple uh, other ones but if you have any suggestions what i could be using please let me know i'm open i i will definitely appreciate that in the comments so um but yeah i will say guys that the game is a lot of fun and if you're a new player just know that it's worth the payoff and i think that's my overall take it's definitely worth you investing some time in and it really wasn't that much time, guys. I'm 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 not like some veteran here. I started playing for the first time like a week and a half ago. And then it's the new season. 
and a couple Google, uh, uh, those websites that I mentioned earlier, and I'm kind of just going through it. I, for, for a while, I did have a, uh, a like speed leveling uh, website uh, just to like, I just, you know, what to do and just to get through the campaign faster, but I'm going to take my time with it. And uh, I hope that you guys hit that subscribe button if you like the video. Uh, again, I'll put my link in the description. I'm really trying to get to 75 followers on Kick so I can monetize that channel. And uh, yeah, guys, I appreciate all the support. And uh, good luck and take care.